today we're simulating a major earthquake that has severe consequences on Pomona College. It's part of the Great Shakeout, part of California's preparations across education to prepare for a major quake should we have one. We decided to take it a step further than the typical routine of just evacuating buildings and accounting for people. We wanted to essentially see what it would actually take to get our light search and rescue teams out on campus actually inspecting buildings, actually looking for uh, injured victims, to kind of see what it would actually take in the amount of time and person power uh, to accomplish that. Today's drill is a Pomona specific drill. Oftentimes we do work with other local fire first responders, but today we focused really on the capabilities and capacity of our campus employees, staff, and students to respond should we have a disaster or a crisis on campus. This drill we stimulate uh, a lot of structural damage and we see how we can treat our victims who needed help when there's no outside resources. All of the supply and equipment that we deploy today uh, are pretty much the equipment that we will use in an actual emergency because we practice on how it's going to be like in a real situation. We have a community-based approach to our emergency preparedness. We have what we call support teams and there are nine of them spread across different areas of the colleges from academic affairs even through finance and each of these teams have specific responsibilities that they would carry out during an emergency situation. We want to learn how to use what communications might be available to us as well as how to navigate around those communication channels that might not be available to us to communicate with important audiences whether it's students here on campus, their parents at home, our faculty and staff as well as the greater community. Communicating with one another can be challenging from time to time and understanding the nuances of the reports that we're hearing and trying to confirm information because what you hear is not always what the accurate truth is. We don't want to post misleading information or information that we'd have to take back. So we are working collaboratively with our peers across the college, those who are doing search and rescue, those who are treating the wounded, our facilities folks, so that we can get the most up-to-date information and also confirm that information. I think that the commitment of the staff at all levels of the college to be available and accessible and to help out the community when there's a time of an emergency. I think that's our biggest strength. We have a great camaraderie with our team. Everyone's willing to pitch in, everyone's willing to help, and that's probably the key to the success of our program. That goes to the heart of what we do here. We're entrusted with young people and their academic careers, but they also live here. We're a residential campus, and we take their safety and security very seriously. And this is a close-knit community, and when you see a drill like this, you see people stepping forward because they do care. If something happens, they want to be on the front line and making sure that they do the best job they can to make this campus safe, to tend to people who need assistance, and this is a great demonstration of people coming to the table to help make sure that we can deliver that when the time comes.